We are back in Australia and in today's video we are going to be taking you down the Great Ocean Road. So it's been a while coming, some Australian videos. I know a lot of you guys asked for it, so today you're going to get some Australian videos. And to start the video, we are going to be stopping at our strawberry farm, strawberry field, and picking strawberries. Sai's always wanted to do this. Yes. She's excited. Are you cold? Yes. You can tell Sai's in Australia, she's freezing. It's not even that cold. It's cold, it's freezing. All right, so let's go in and uh, pick some strawberries. So it's called Surf Coast Strawberry Fields. So let's go in and... no pre-picked strawberry. No pre-picked. We have to pick them ourselves. All right, so here's the prices. So to enter, everyone has to buy one punnet. So adult $7, family $18. So let's go buy one. Size excited. She's always wanted to do this. I want to be like a dog, like open my, my tongue out. <laughs> you know how dog have you? All right, so let's uh, see these uh, strawberries. It's been a long weekend here, so they probably uh, raped the fields. They've probably be all picked. Look at that big one there. You want to you want to get that one? Why are you making that noise? Are you cold or are you acting like that dog? Why are you looking at it? Just pick it. Oh, no. <sighs> Can you eat it? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> Just do it undercover. First. You're gonna taste first. Undercover? <laughs> Good? Good. You can taste some pesticides. Guys, <laughs> it's um sweet and sour. It's fresh. How's the Australian strawberries to the Thai strawberries? Mmm. Plus, are very sweet, sweet and huge. All right, let's get in. You can see everyone picking here. I think we should start from the back. Okay. That should be our game plan. <laughs> oh, wow, let's just pick this shit and get out of here. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> All right. Wow. Look at this. Oh, this one is like too one. small. Doesn't cut it. Oh, but it's so red. What? <laughs> We only want big ones. I can see a big one over there. Oh. Oh. I don't know which one to pick now. Why? There's so many. This is not ready. Oh. Alright, hurry up and fill that shit up. All right, just pick it. We're gonna be here all day. Be all day. The vlog wanna oh. see action, not strawberries. Oh, look at the strawberry flowers. There's another one. Why you pick it so high? I don't want the stem. Why? <laughs> when you see them in the shop, it doesn't come like that. But it's it just gonna last so long. I don't know. I just see these bit. Like this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Didn't you see how they picked in the shop? No. Never come with that stem. So you like the little ones? Mm. My God, the little ones are so Let me try the, the little strawberries she's talking about, guys. The little strawberries. <laughs> Oh, the strawberry. Look at the tiny. The little one is easy to eat and so crispy. She's taken her strawberry picking so serious. I think you've eaten more than uh, you've picked. No, because I saw. I want to see which one tastes sweeter. 
this is two side do you know like the seat even though they're red this side is more brown and this one the seat outside is green i want to know which one tastes sweeter ah uh, yeah you explain that to the lady when she catch you <laughs> eating all her strawberries so, so I can pick you know but then I'll, I'll see like this one is dark 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 look this one is this one green is very sweet and this one is brown brown berries are good too I prefer the green one the green one more sweet she's studying the strawberries let's see how size going I'm gonna fill it up with the big one and then I'm gonna fill it up with the little 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 little, little one well I think your ones are looking better than mine I want to eat your strawberries. Man, look all your one looks so old. Even though you're picking it. <laughs> My strawberry look big and plump. They look alright. Your one. Look they look old. very juicy. Yeah. I think you're done. You can't fit any more strawberries in there. I can. And even though when it's full, I'm gonna pick the little one and check it up, and it will still alright. I have my theory. You got a strategy. Yeah, strategy. Look, I'm. Oh, mine look heaps better than yours. Look how big mine is compared to your one. <laughs> hey, hey, no! That was my prized strawberry. <laughs> I was so proud of that one. No. You no longer have the big one. Your punnet's full. Why are you still picking? Why are you still picking? It's not full, look, see? It looks like it's full. I'm gonna show you. There's another one wow. here. And. Thai style. They're gonna be all squashed. You're gonna have to make them ones jam. For sure, next time when we're gonna come, they're gonna have a big sign now eating the strawberries. <laughs> you changed the policy. No squash at all. I'm organizing. it. Okay. Very See, good. I can even fit the little one over here. All right, we spent about 30 minutes picking these buggers and uh, have a look. Whose do you think looks better? No way. Comment below. It's not fair. Mine wait, 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 or wait. size? This is not fair because I put the little one. You can judge my one from underneath here. I don't know. Look, I look. think mine's looking better. So it's definitely a fun place to stop by if you're in the area. With the family and that, so much fun. I saw the little kid, it's like with the, the parent encouraging them to pick up the, the chubby and put it, put it. And it's like, Ugh! like it's so hard. So, next stop, we're going to take you down to Bells Beach, one of the most famous beaches in Australia. You have no strategy. You didn't organize your lawn now, your strawberry are smush. No, they're not, they're fine. So Sai ate at least a kilo of strawberries. So she got her values worth. This is my new strategy for you to save me money. Take you to places where you pick your own and you can eat I on the told way. You, I told you. I'm not eating on the way. I just said that, okay, this one is more sweeter so I know which to pick. I'm going to take you to Bells Beach. Now, this beach was made famous from the movie Point Break. Point Break. Have you seen that movie? Um, it sounds familiar. I think you probably saw the, the remake. The original one with Patrick Swayze. Uh, this was the beach. I smell oysters. <laughs> seaweed. I smell oysters. Can we That's go not that oysters. Monster? What do you want that for? I, I'll go boil it. Boil it? <laughs> you can't bring a Thai girl anywhere. She wants to boil that shit. That's seaweed. All right, so this is uh, Bells Beach. And uh, the side, we just come down to the sand. There's a few different sides. So here, there's no surfers, but we'll go up in a minute. There's a lookout up there, and uh, we'll show you the surfers. They're surfing on the other side today. You can see the waves are pretty rough. Yeah. Definitely surfing waves. 
Oh, they're surfing over there. But, yeah, you don't want to be swimming here. Ah. It's got the rip. You know the rip? Take you out. You gotta be careful. I wanna go and check it off the rock. No, you can't stand on that rock. No, I'm not standing. I wanna go have a look. Alright. Uh -huh. Have a look at the ship. She's looking for oysters, that's what she's looking for. She wants to find mussels or shells. Anything she can eat. Straight to the food source. You didn't bring your knife. Can I eat that? Oh yeah, they're very nice. Really? Yeah, of course. I'm sacrificing my factor. <laughs> no, don't, don't do that. <laughs> oh, what about that seaweed? Have you tried the water? I did. It comes. We can't there. leave until you try the water. Crazy. It's tough. It's beautiful. All right, let's see what she thinks of the Bell Be Bell's Beach water. It was as warm as Thailand. How is it? Cold. Cold? You didn't even go in? All right, so we're at the lookout, and uh, this is where the surf's happening today. They're swimming out for the next wave. I didn't know we're going to the chocolate shop. And look at this place. It is like a nightmare. It's so packed. Oh my god, this is my worst nightmare. She don't know what to to take. Wow, look at this one. Alright, so this is the chocolate factory. So this is where they make the chocolate back here. Why are you so excited? You're like a kid in a candy store. Alright, free sample. We don't have to buy now. We can go. One meter chocolate bar. One meter long. <laughs> Why? That's ridiculous. It's so cool. Twenty-five dollars. Oh. <laughs> she can get her one meter chocolate bar. <laughs> so this is what we got. We got one scone, cream, jam. The best brownie. And this one's called the best brownie. What 
that goes on the ice cream, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it now. Damn, look at that. I'm regretting now I didn't get the chocolate. Oh, she got two so we can share one. Good? But is it the best brownie or just the name? The best brownie. The hot chocolate come with a whisk. And then what I do with? I don't know. But it's got chocolate at the bottom. Hang on, wait, wait. Use the spoon. I want to see the chocolate at the bottom. Spoon that out. Oh, I think that the, they're the chocolate bits we got with the sample before. Oh yeah, and then there's four specific kind of milk. There's like milk, whatever type of milk you want, and what level of hot you want, warm or like extra hot. Yeah. My one is warm and it's really warm. I got extra hot. So if you don't have that, like you can add more chocolate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now for the extra chocolate. Extra chocolate. Damn. <laughs> Size in heaven. Now we don't need to buy any chocolates from the. Uh, I tried my best to get out of that. It's different. What's different about it? All right, so Sai's gone for the scone and jam and cream. I have never had scone. It looks so light and fluffy. You like that one? Everything's really good and uh, not too expensive. Like the scone was like six dollars eighty. That was like seven dollars. The drinks are like around six dollars. So not too expensive. Chocolate hydrating body oil. You want to get chocolate body oil? What are you going to do with that? Is it eatable? Of course, it's chocolate. Put it on your body, baby. <laughs> I don't like... One kilo of chocolate, damn. Look at this three kangaroo. Looks so delicious. So you, you want to bite into the kangaroo? Yeah. So we have got uh, one meters. So chocolate. that is the chocolate factory. She got her one meter chocolate. I got some egg over here, little bunny, and I got a fluffy bunny. Floppy. Floppy. A floppy bunny here. Ooh, yes. So that's the chocolate factory. Definitely worth stopping if you want to be a little bit lighter in the pocket and uh an extra few thousand calories heavier this is the place to come i was gonna say it's pretty cheap actually but then i remember like i'm not the one to pay <laughs> <laughs> it's cheap for you <laughs> all right so next up we got the great ocean road sign so we're gonna stop there next let's go it's raining, yeah a little bit of rain do you think we're meant to be walking in the garden <laughs> so my strategy was get Sai like brownie, make her so sick of chocolate, yeah. and then she's not gonna want to buy any chocolates to save my wallet. That strategy didn't work. No, it actually worked. <laughs> yes. You think we would have got more than this? Yeah, I was like. I was sitting there, I was so sick of chocolate, I was drowning in chocolate. I would be like, and I'm not gonna get chocolate. But then I was like, no, this happened to me before that I don't wanna get chocolate and end up go home and I wanna have chocolate again. So, because this one is like an experience, so bet might as well like get some chocolate and then you can have it later. Again. This is what Sugar Crash looks like. Come into the Great Ocean Road. This is a place everybody stops at this sign. 
to get the picture of the Great Ocean Road. You can see they've got these platforms here, you can stand and uh, get the point of the photo. Let's see if we can get it with Sai. What is this place anyway? It's the Great Ocean Road. What is Great Ocean Road? This is not the History Channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Great Ocean Road, that's all you need to know. Why, why people come here to the photo of the game? Alright, so we're not actually going to go down the Great Ocean Road today because um, we're staying in Anglesey, so we're going to head back to Anglesey get some food there and in the next video we'll show you all the spots down the Great Ocean Road. They've got like the 12 Apostles, they've got the waterfalls. So make sure you watch the next video. So the arch here is uh, to commemorate the soldiers of the First World War. But this is not the original arch. This is like the third one they built. It collapsed or they moved it, they widened the road, things like that. Feel that nice fresh air? So cold. Cold? Yeah. There's a sandstorm. <laughs> this is a beautiful Australian day. It's like paradise here in Australia. I'm uh, <laughs> struggling. <laughs> You're not uh, selling Australia good, babe. Yes, you gotta make it look so good. Like you walk into like a paradise, like the Maldives. Nice. <laughs> Break out the bikini. I just said, uh, this is why people go to uh, on holiday away from Australia to escape this weather. You guys got good food? Got this is why we go to Thailand and Bali. We are gonna get some taka. Oh. What is taka? Taka. Some like lunch, dinner, some Aussie taka. Which taka? I'm teaching uh, Sai some Aussie slang. So, what is this place called? Fish and. Greasy. Fish and greases. So we're gonna get some fish and chips, guys. Sai calls it fish and greases. I don't know why she's calling it that. So this place here, it's called Fish by Moonlight, and apparently this was meant to be the best fish and chips in all of Australia. So we've had like scones, scones, jam, and cream for lunch, and now fish and chips. A bit of a British menu today. So we're gonna grab these fish and chips here. And then we're gonna go to a lookout and have some fish and chips there. Sound good? So this is Anglesey. So this is the shops here in Anglesey. Cute little shops. It's look like we've gone back in time. All right, so we've come up to Lover Ridge Lookout. And this place has got like a beautiful view of all over angles so you can see down there the beach beautiful spot to come and chill but we're gonna go check out these uh fish and chips so open them up and let's look what we got Ooh. be careful with these uh magpies <laughs> they'll take it and won't look back oh, oh wow yeah. look at the calamari yeah the calamari was the one all right Okay, try it, try it. Let's get into this. Let's see if this is all it's cracked up to be. Oh, you gotta try the fish first. All right, so we got, this is a potato cake. Yeah. Some people call it potato scallop. We're gonna try All this. right. This looks How really good. with like lime? Just, just eat it. Vlog cat don't have got all day to wait for you. Good. Fish. And what about these these fries here? Mm. What? Look at that calamari, it's huge. Like the of the calamari. Oh my god. And uh, when you come to Juan, you have to get my 
zo. En dat gaan we maken. Wow, that's huge. Three dollars for that calamari. Mm. The magpie. <laughs> the magpie is gonna eat your calamari. How is it? Good. Good fish and fish and greasies. It's very good fish and greasy. All right, guys. There you have it. Our first video back in Australia. A few more videos from Australia to come before we head back to Thailand. So. Good food. Uh, in the next video, we'll show you down the Great Ocean Road, so make sure you look out for that. But guys, until next time, dream bigger, right sooner. Peace. <laughs>